In the previous example, we used a manual process to replace our splines with arcs. In this example, we're going to use a more automated process to convert our splines into arcs. And the command that we're going to use to do that is called the flatten command. You can find the flatten command on the Express Tools tab. It'll be underneath the Modify dropdown, and here you'll see the flatten object. So the way this is going to work is we're going to draw a window around the objects that we want to flatten. Not all of these will flatten, but um, some of them will. So we'll go ahead and select it. It tells me that 20, 223 objects were found. We'll go ahead and hit Enter. And now it wants to know if we want to remove hidden lines. We don't have to worry about this, so we can just go ahead and hit N for no and hit Enter. And now it goes through and converts those arcs, those splines into polylines, I should say. So if we zoom in and click on one of these previous splines, you can see now it's a polyline. And a lot of times that's going to be enough. You won't have to do any more than that. But if you want to be absolutely sure, you can go one step farther and you can explode the polylines into their individual segments. So we can make individual arcs out of those polylines. So to do, to do that, we're going to go back to the home menu. And on the home menu, we're going to find the explode command. Again, we're going to window select the objects that we want to explode. You can see that it didn't select the lines because the lines can't be exploded but the polylines can be exploded and that's what you see highlighted in blue so we'll go ahead and hit enter and now if we zoom back in on that D we'll see the individual arcs that make up the curve so as you can see that's a more um, automated process much quicker much simpler to do less time and I hope that's helpful for the next time you need to work with some spline geometry that you're going to send to a laser plasma or water jet cutter.